Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is a very exciting day. What I mean by that is the whole market is in red, but when you talk about Dogecoin, it has been holding on to its price the strongest out of all the cryptos in the top 10. I mean, you can see Bitcoin has fallen below the 65k mark, but Doge is still well above the 15 cent mark. And there are some driving factors behind that. First of all, Ripple got mentioned in the European Parliament by the Standard Bank but Dogecoin did not, which is a good thing. On the other end, Bitcoin retraces after a peak, but Doge remains very strong. And let's just say X payments is being transmitted license for very different places. Now, before we get into all of this, if you guys are here for the first time, you want to stay up to date with everything to do with Dogecoin, scroll down, tap the red subscribe button. While you're there, slap a like on the video. Just help the YouTube algorithm push the video out to more people. More people see the positive side of Doge, decide to buy into it. It starts spiking up and all of us make a lot of profit. Recently, we have gained a lot of new subscribers. So welcome, everybody. My name is Sky. I do try to provide you with the latest latest info and the greatest to keep you up to date with your investments. Now, Dogecoin is at a very crucial state. What I'm trying to say is right now, because Coinbase is fighting to try to get the futures out for, you know, Dogecoin, Litcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Doge is actually getting a lot of inflow of money and it can be very easily seen by Doge actually taking over Cardano. I mean, the market cap is very closed. Like right now, if you see it's not been updated properly or Doge would be below, but still it is the eighth largest crypto even for a short period of time. Now, if we talk about the trading volume, it is down about 1%, but it is the seventh most traded crypto in the world right now. Why is it a big thing? Because if I just put it into the trading volume, you will realize that it is the seventh, but at the same time, USDC, USD, and USDT are three stable coins. So it is the fourth most traded crypto after Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So it shows that, let's just say, Dogecoin is actually getting onto a really big nerve for a lot of institution. And this is where this comes in. What's really important about this is the European Parliament Standard Chartered Bank were doing a little bit of an interview or just doing their weekly report. Now in that, they did decide to mention some Something relating to XRP and you guys know the XRP lawyer is not very happy that Coinbase is backing up Dogecoin but they're not mentioning XRP but in this I personally was shocked as well that they did not say anything relating to Dogecoin and they are so much more behind XRP that's just shocking to me in my opinion also Bitcoin retraces after the peak Dogecoin remains strong. I mean, it's very clear to see if we just look at the Bitcoin price action right now, we are on just below 64K and it is, you know, dropping since I would say four to five hours. It's in a decline, but Bitcoin is down. Dogecoin is holding on to its price very strongly. I mean, what is really interesting is you guys can see over here, the price jumped up. We went into a consolidation zone. There was a point where we went into a RSI line dropping into the middle zone. Then we went into an uptrend. And since Bitcoin's been dropping, we have seen the downtrend. But overall, we're still just hitting the consolidation zone. This is really shocking and actually good, in my opinion, because we have just hit the consolidation zone. Therefore, if Bitcoin is able to make a recovery or just hold strong, Doge still has a lot of potential to keep going up. A lot of the storage for Doge is being held in Bitcoin. So obviously, if Bitcoin drops, just like everything else or all the other altcoins, everything is going to drop. Now, another thing which is interesting is we got some information that X payments is making a lot of moves in a lot of different states of America. And let's just say it's been confirmed the 22 states which have transmitted a license for the payment services in the US. If they're able to do it with everything, let's just say X payments is going to be going live very soon and they will be using Dogecoin as a form of payment. We're getting close and close to the 1st of April. 1st of April is going to be a big day because first of all, Coinbase might just announce their futures for Dogecoin. X payments might just make their first announcement, which will have something relating to Dogecoin. And also Elon might just 
post a meme. And you guys know where I'm from. Elon Musk is actually trending right now, which is just really funny. Now, long time, Doge Bull says he's a big fan of ADA and did not happen overnight. You either love Cardano or do not. Now, what is really interesting about this is the person is a long time, you know, Dogecoin supporter, but seeing that Doge is about to flip Cardano, they do have to make a comment on it. And personally, I would say it's his opinion, but I do not agree with it. I feel like Doge has more potential. Now, this is another wallet, which I wanted to show you guys. This is the sixth largest wallet that is holding on to Doge. But you can see them from past couple of days. They have been purchasing close to $700,000 worth of Doge every single day. Or the better way to put it is 700,002 transactions per day. Even today, they decided to buy close to $1.5 million worth of Doge. They think there is so much potential left. And this is another wallet that just decided to buy another $7 million worth of Dogecoin just yesterday. And before that, 12 million. And before that, 47 million. So you can see there is a lot of wallets which are actually picking up this opportunity before the market goes very parabolic and go explosive. Now, X payments, as I mentioned, they have still not made their first announcement. But if we compare Dogecoin to banks, fast transaction low fees high fees you don't have your own money you have you are your own bank now send money worldwide you need to send it through e-banking transaction via bank and bad bank good doge so this just gives you perspective why doge is able to do so much more compared to a financial bank now this is a really interesting idea the top in Bitcoin isn't very far once the long term holders start to sell. I mean, you guys can see even in 2017, when the long term holders are actually starting to sell, that's when the price actually took a really far dip. The same thing happened in 2019. The same thing happened in 2021. And similar thing is actually following very soon. So could this be a top that we will be seeing very soon? Well, personally, I do not relate because I feel like the top for Bitcoin still needs to be somewhere close to 100K. Now, US Bitcoin ETF posted the third consecutive negative day. However, it doesn't care and Bitcoin was up 11%. Now, this will give you perspective. So spot BTF flows in US million dollars. And you can see that the ETF has done a third day of negative. That means a lot of sales happening, but the price is still not being affected because there are so many people backing it up. Now, Coinbase, as I mentioned, we're getting closer and closer. And this is one of the biggest news that the whole community is waiting for. Right now, you don't understand if Bitcoin is able to just make a really fast recovery, Doge is going to be doubling or tripling the percentage that Bitcoin will be climbing because Doge is just being held down and not able to climb. If there is just a little bit of freedom given from Bitcoin, let's just say Doge will be doing some big numbers. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, you want to stay up to date with everything to, relating to Dogecoin, scroll down, tap the red subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.